In this video, we're going to spend some time taking a look at how to style a form using Bootstrap in Rails. So, in our previous uh, or our current application, you'll notice that uh, we have a rather ugly login screen. And this is just the default for device. And what we want to be able to do is we have something that looks more like this log this login screen, so a styled button, um, the uh, label up next to the checkbox, um, and then some kind of styling for the um, for the fields in the form. So we'll do this obviously and again using Bootstrap. And the first part that we want to do is um, do the styling here of this form group of this uh, this text field and the label. And we're going to do that by adding this to the, the form, the class uh, form group to each of the divs, and then adding the class form control to the inputs. So the way that this is going to look here, well, first of all, one of the things I want to do is get the, rid of the space between the label and the field. So I'm going to do that here by getting rid of the break. The, the break. Actually, I need to do that in both places. And then I'm going to change the div class to form group. And then add a class to the text field of form control. Okay. So let's take a look what that's done to the application. So I've done that. Okay, I've got rid of those spaces, and now I have the form field there. Um, and it now does look a lot more like what we had here in the bootstrap um, example. So the next thing, so let me do that to the rest of these fields, or to the other field. So form group, and class form control. I'm going to change the checkbox is currently listed as a field. Let me try a couple of things here. Um, I'm going to start by I'm going to comment out this uh, this label and just type in remember me. Let's see what that does. And actually, let me make that go ahead and make that form group. See what this is done. Okay, so I've got that checkbox all sorted now, so that the label is next to that, and my password field is now styled. I need to do something about my uh, my button here. Let me add class. Let's see, the button, and then button. Let's do the blue button primary and so how does that look now okay so here we are so here's our login screen with our uh, our remember me checkbox um, formatted properly I now have my login button um, so that's good uh, the, the other thing I wanted to do so this is uh, this is basically how this looks so I've added form group and then form control to each of those um, one of the things that I can do, which is really nice, is with um, Bootstrap Forms, I can change the style of the form. So here's just the basic form. And I'm going to try to add the form class form inline to this. Um, I'm going to try something here. Um, let's add... Two places. I think I might be. Let me just do it the way that <clears throat> I think it's going to work. A form inline here, and add that to the end. So this is going to uh, change our form into something that looks like this. Let's see what that's done. Let me refresh this. Okay, so there we go. So email and password. Actually, maybe want to have a break in front of button. Uh, did I 
should do that in the right place. I'm going to put it in the div. Try that. There we go. Okay, that looks all right. Um, this probably I need to play around with this a little bit to get that to format properly, but I don't think that's important at the moment. Um, but this gets us <coughs> um, something that's you know email password or something like that on on the same line. And it, it gives us a little more compactness for. Uh, for styling. Um, I had another version that I created here which is our original um, that's without the form in mind and then the other thing we can do here is I can just remove this class. Let's see what that does. It should get us back to our original. Yep. One more thing I wanted to try. Is that, I'm not sure whether or not it's going to work. I want to try to add a class here. I don't think this is gonna work. I'm gonna try it anyway. Class form in the set? No, yeah, it doesn't work. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Um so we've seen the examples of how that should work. Um, this, of course, is the this is the base piece, and if we want to add it so that it's all in one line, we can put all of that into a form. So anyway, that concludes this video.